Weskies each of land, it was inevitable that I would get the other Elite Trainer Box Plus. So here, here it is. It took me this long. Damn you, COVID! <laughs> but no. Actually, I still have the box from the the, Z the Zacian one. So we'll do. We have some comparison. If you're not feeling, if you're not familiar with this, it's basically the same as a regular Elite Trainer box, only with uh, some fancier things, sort of. And instead of just one set, it has three packs of every single Sword and Shield set. So, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Darkness of Blaze, Max, Max, Max. How can I get you one of these right now? <laughs> and Vivid Voltage. And a special Golden Zacian V. God damn it. Uh... Not Zacian. This one is the Zamazenta. So it has a special gold Zamazenta V card that I just felt like I needed. And with one snap, damn, it's not open. All right. But on the top, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a blurb about it right there. Just about the stuff inside. Let Zamazenta guide you through Galar. Obviously, we have a big gold outline Zamazenta right there. On the side, you got a gold Pokeball. On the other side, another picture of Zamazenta with its name. On the bottom, gold Pokeball and some stuff. And on the back, it shows you what's in there. I actually got this today. From a local EB Games. So, if you're still looking for these, uh, you might want to check EB Games' website to see if stores in your area. Because it's not available for uh, home shipping. You actually have to go to the store to get it. So, so yeah, you get this open. And take a look inside. So as always, I'll slide this off. There's actually there's nothing inside, so it's not really worth keeping. You get a player's guide. I don't uh the the one for the other one isn't in this room, it's in a box somewhere. But it gives you like it gives you a deck list, like a I guess a good deck list, the double Z deck. Oh yeah, the one with a. Uh... Well, it's kind of based off the off the tag team deck, the with the Palkia and the Zacian, but has some other stuff in it, like Crobat that I still don't have a Crobat, and then it it shows you some of the top pulls. So I'm just. And some good combos. Just for example. The Amazing Rare Jirachi. Yeah. Things and stuff. And then we have a smooth black box. With a bit with that big picture of Zamazenta. And on the other side, a little gold, a little Pokeball that's full of gold, full of Zamazenta. Take that off. It's also, the box has got a very smooth, shiny finish to it. So it, it, it feels really good. It's nice to, nice to the touch. And you take, come on, this thing out. Nope. And there are things inside it, such as a card. And a divider. What was it? We'll get rid of that. So we have three, six, 
9, 12. We're going to go in, uh, I'd say, chronological order. When we get to these packs, show you we've got some dice, which actually I'm going to give a, these, these ones are the dice in the Zacian box. So they're, they're reversed. They're black with gold numbers, which is nice. They're not exactly the same. I appreciate that. And they are actually metal dice. And where's the other? Ooh, here are the sleeves with Zacian on them. And just like this, the, the just like the Zacian, I mean, these ones have Zamazenta, the other ones have Zacian. I keep screwing their names up somehow. And just like that, they also have the gold. Although you can see just how many I've used. Eh, a few. From, I think these are my go-to, along with what are the other ones I have sitting here. Ah, yes. Those, uh... Did, 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 did. Did, 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 did. The uh, hidden face. Oh. I have I have tons and tons of sleeves. You know, hold on, this is gonna be. Where is my finder? It's only appropriate. And if we look right there, we see the gold Zacian. And I'm actually going to put him, I'm going to change the sleeve that he is in. Because it's only, it's only fair, I don't know why my mind said this, but take that purple. I'm going to sleeve uh, Zacian with his own sleeves. So, there, Zacian, and I will sleeve Zamazenta with his own skin, with, uh, not skins, sleeves. So, we get that open, take a look, very nice black and gold, Dauntless Shield, so he takes no damage from VMAX. Assault Tackle does 130, and it can it discards a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. There you go. So now, where is Zamazenta? Open the seal. Take out more sleeves than I need because I like to stick to each other. And now we sleeve. So there we go. We have the legendary dogs of Galar in their black and gold forms. Put them in the binder with uh, hopefully some pulls today. And just to, I don't know why I'm just, here's Zamazenta in half art and gold in full art. And there we go. Oop. There, there you go. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And you get a little book of rules, which I've gotten way too many of these things. Where are the... 
dividers. You get a code card. Code card. Some nice black and gold dividers. And lastly, a coin of Zamazenta. I don't know how well you can see that. It's so shiny. Next to my coin of Zacian. I'm actually going to take that out of the sleeve because I'm going to. I like to hold. I like to carry along specific coins. So. Very nice and shiny. Along with the Pokemon symbol on the back. And you get a pair of dam of indicators. So poison and burn. They're they are actually the exact same as the poison and burn from the Zacian set. So I mean they're really nice markers because they're metal and gold and all that, but that's only a slight change. Now, it's inevitable that we dive into these packs. So, we're starting with Sword and Shield. Uh, what am I searching for? Probably the Rainbows and Full Art Trainers, mostly. So, it's something I noticed randomly. I don't know why it took me so long to notice. But on the TCG website, like on the TCG online, they actually have the the energy out front. Like if you open a pack of cards, this the energy is like the first thing that pops up. So I don't know if that's the way we're supposed to do it. And I took a look just to like just to make sure it was the right one. But this time we pulled water. I don't know if we I don't know if we should do the behind trick or in front. No, I'll, I'll stick for the in front for this video. So water, heat more, metal saucer, quick fall, crabby, Mincino, little Galarian ponytail, adorable, adorable thing there, Cottony. Score bunny. Ah, score good old score bunny. The reverse hollow is a sizzlipede. And the rare is a roserade. Alright. So pack. Number two, I think, and I'm trying to remember the box, I think it was, I probably got like, I think one good pull per each set, one, maybe one to two, but let's see if we can better our luck today. I'm going to guess fire. Ah, dark. Potion. Hitmonchan. Galarian Lanoon. Different art for Sizzlipede. Yamper. Oh, cute puppy. Clobopus. Cotney again. Choodle. The reverse hollow is a Mincino. And the rare is a Lapras. Right. So, nothing yet. Oh, yeah, there are no packs of. There's no. Like, packs of. Uh, there's no pack of a bunch of energies in, in this. I think it was the same in the other one. I'm just surprised for some reason. So, last pack of Sword and Shield. Can we get uh, something? Something holographic? Something shiny?
I'm guessing again, fire. Ah, oh, grass. Pokemon Center Lady. Energy Retrieval. Ferrothorn. Pinch Urchin. Hmm. Foxy. Nicket. I don't know why I thought of Nick at night, but eh. Ball Toy. Chin Chow. The Verse Hollow is a Rylaboom and. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I have a ton, though. I have a, quite a few Hollow Marini. So. Eh. Not bad. So that's one, uh, one sort of rare card down. Like, I think I have maybe, uh, have to check, but something like four. Marini's a couple from Champion's Path, I believe. This is what happens when you collect, when you go as ham as I have, let's say, in the last few months or so. All right, Rubble Clash. I forgot to do the. Uh, we're doing Rubble Clash now. Let's go Fairy. Electric. Curse Shovel. I mean, I'm probably still. I say ham, but there are probably people that go a lot harder than I do. Uh, Dub Blade. Constantly buying cards. And Wove it. I am looking for older cards, though. Older by a couple sets of, like, XY Evolutions, Steam Siege, uh, Double Crisis. Those are sets I'm uh, collecting right now. And, obviously, the stuff that yet to come out, like uh, Battle fa uh, Battle Styles in... I think it's Shining Fates in February and Battle Styles in March or something like that. I forget, but there are two new sets co coming out next. Caterpie. Barboach. Arrowcuda. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Special Speed Energy. And the rare is a Magmortar. Magmortar. Grab a flash. Pack number two. I'd like to pull a a regular um Dyn uh Gigantamax or V Max Toxic Crow no not no, no. this guy Toxtricity excuse me because I have the rainbow, I bought the rainbow, I've tasted the rainbow, thankfully I've not had to jerk off a giraffe for the rainbow, but I would like a fighting, I cheated, I looked at it, <laughs> but I would like a regular Toxtricity, VMAX, Luxio, Drakloak. <laughs> like looking at his name, I'm like, is that really its name? Bronze on. Not too. Barboach. Squovet. Applin. Little time pole. Reverse hollow Voltorb. And Yo! It's not the VMAX I asked for, it's the VMAX I got. Frickin' Cinderace. Nice. Ooh. That leaves me an interesting thing. I've bought another Cinderace VMAX that I'm still waiting for 
I bought it from an online seller, like an online store. And it's the last thing I checked for, I, I keep checking every day on its uh, uh, delivery, and it's been the last information was stuck at London Heathrow Airport, ready for, like, ready to go on, like, the 5th of January. So I, it's going to take a long time, but hey, now I have another one. Oh, that's such a nice poll. Oh. Hey, I don't mind having two. Like, you know, I do partly wish they were, they actually used their Gigantamax forms for these cards. But I understand they didn't want to spoil anything in the DLC. Because these came out, I think Rebel Clash came out early in the game. Like, not long after the game came out. Like, I think so the Sword and Shield base set came out, like, right at the same time as the game, but... So, these came out a couple months after, but... Mm, oh, well. I do hope, somewhere down the line, they put out new ones of Cinderace, Inteleon, and Ryla Boom with their actual Gigantamax forms. Because these are just Dynamax. But still, it's a really nice card. It's kicking something. I guess I, I should I mention I guess I should mention the certain somebody's videos dressed up or playing soccer as a score bunny, but eh, I don't I don't feel like plugging. So another pack of Rebel Clash. I have the Rila Boom on the way as well. Can I could I pull to get a second Rila Boom? Hmm. Uh grass. Ah, oh, fire. Ugh, and the capture energy. Charge a bug. Shuckle. Stuffle. Low tab. Growlithe. Roly coly. Metatite. Reverse hollow magic carp. Magic corp, corp, corp. And a sigilith. So. So far, we are on track of one pull per set. Pulled one rare card from Sword and Shield, one from Rebel Clash. Yeah. You know, as much as I like, like, pull, like pulling from packs, and I, I'm sure there are people that complain about. I don't know. I don't know why you would complain about individually buying the cards you want, but it, it's it's a nice feeling to actually pull. A card you wanted from a pack. So, Darkness Ablaze. I could get a second Charizard VMAX. Um, Grim Snarl VMAX. Mm, what else? I uh, I'd like to pull more than just one in each set, but... I'm trying to think of the other notables from Darkness Ablaze. Yeah, the Chars are Chars are Vmax. I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, Steel. Psych. Vibrava. Simisir. Lunatone, Galarian Mr. Mime, Electrike, Oh Dino, Oh Dino, 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 Passimian. Oh yes, I was talking about this recently. Matt, the Mad Party. 
So this attack does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile with the Mad Party attack. There's their whole there's a whole deck set up around this with the the teacup and other things that do a lot of damage with that attack. It's ridiculous. Yellhorn is the reverse hollow and the rare is ooh a hollow decidui. Oh yeah, it's the one with the deep forest camo ability. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's V and GX. That includes VMAX, as I've found out like on my own time. And splitting Arrow. Attack is also 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that's a that's cool. Got a hollow decidui. I have a little pile there that Cinderace is still going to sit on top of. But I don't know how many poke... Like, I don't think I have enough for a Mad Party deck right now, but that may be a deck I think about building, because it is hard to beat. You kind of have to wear it out, Mad Party. You just kind of have to keep beating it until they can't do anything. Like, hope they can't draw any energies. And just, like, kind of wail on it, hoping to win. So another pack of Darkness Ablaze. Uh, fire. Yay! I got it right. I'm with a Lunatone. Staravia. Pupitar. Link, Ducklet, Murray, Paris, Gothita, Reverse Hollow Shelmet, and the rare is a Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Oh, he also has Mad Party. Yeah, they can add good. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Like, uh, there, uh, there are a few Pokemon you can use for Mad Party. I don't think it, at least the decks I've come up against with Mad Party haven't used him, but Darkness Ablaze again. Apparently he's an option, or at least I, they may have, they just never put him out. I'm not sh sure. Yeah, because there's Bunnelby... Not Diggersby. I don't think Diggersby has it. Uh, Sinisty. I'm trying to remember what else. Hmm. I have. I don't have enough experience with the deck to remember everything else that's used in it. Oh, fighting. I didn't even guess. Whoops. Staravia, Pupitar, Zoilus, Vanillite, Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Dedene is a reverse hollow, and the rare is a hip out on. So yeah, we're still going at that one rare per set. Can Vivid Voltage break that? Let's find out. What do I want in Vivid Voltage? Uh, obviously, the big Pikachu. Um, a Rainbow. Yeah, ra Rainbow... Ah, uh, friggin'. <laughs> Besides the Rainbow Pikachu, Rainbow Aggie Slash is one of the big things because Aggie Slash is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think that's the biggest thing I want. Psychic like Energy, Go Go's, Ferrothorn. 
Cesclops. Uh, the the amazing rare Raikou, uh, Zacian. Uh, I can't remember who else is ancient, uh, amazing rare. I don't think I have the amazing rare Salabi. Totney. Flavipus. Electric. Execute. The reverse hollow is a Hitmonchan. And the rare. Isn't that creamy? I'm trying to remember what else. Um, a few of the full art V's that I don't have. Again, the full art trainers. So there's still quite a bit. I haven't decided. I haven't dedicated to building a binder, a complete set of any of these sets. I've kind of got the the, the other sets in my mind right now. Plus, I, I as much as I don't mind sorting, I'd have to do quite a bit of sorting to find the current. Oh my God, psychic again! I keep forgetting to guess because I'm randomly talking. But I'm just trying to you know, I'm trying to blabber. I am looking forward to Shining Fates, though. A lot of those cards are, ooh, Shiny Grim Snarl. There's, uh, if it's based off, like, uh, Shining Star V that was released recently in Japan, ooh, there's a Ditto V, a Ditto V Max, Shiny Ditto V Max, a Crobat V Max. Oh, I still need a Crobat, because Crobat is useful in a lot of decks. Wyndham Stadium. Debstrike. I really would like to pull a Crobat. One of the more expensive Vs. It's like 11 bucks. That's like something like an Excadrill. At least for the half art. I think the full art is double that. Skiddo. Pharisee. This freaking cute Dedenne art again. Happy to show it off. Again, next next to the Drill Burr. It's the same style. Ashawat. The reverse hollow is a Wismer. The rare is a Garbodor. So, last pack luck, maybe? Hopefully. I got it. Crocker Rock. Aromatic Energy. Galvantula. I, th I still... I think they need to put out trainers that allow you to search... Like, not every trainer that allows you to search for energies allows you to search for special energies. Like, um... That the gym leader who allows you to search for one dark Pokemon and one dark card, one dark energy. But like other than that, you there aren't there need to be more trainers that allow you to search for special energies. This cute Dedenne again. Picky Peck. Chutel. Riolu. Reverse hollow of the Dedenne. The rare is a hollow electrode. Ooh, that's still a cool card. That's absolutely a cool card. He's getting ready to explode. It definitely the hollow, not just the hollow, but he's he's leaking energy. That's a really really cool. Bazap generator. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you search your deck for up to two energy lightning energy. Cast from your lightning Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. If you search your deck in this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. Eh. So it's a one use only, but. Electric Ball does 100. That's not bad. Don't know if I'd use that, like, ability. But. Not. Not bad. So we, so we kept with the idea of one pull per set. It's unfortunate. Like I think I got more, slightly more, in that last video, in that 
uh, Zacian one. But uh, feel free to go back and watch that video and then tell me which one had the better polls in the comments of either of them. Comment on this one, comment on that one. I still love this VMAX, so I'm ha completely happy to have a second one of these. Even though I haven't go actually got the first one yet. And honestly, I was completely happy with just the 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 Zamazenta V, the gold, just to have the twins. So I want I need more cards in that black and gold. I hope they do more. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Till next time, keep on collecting. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose.